Hi, boys and girls. We're going to go over some words that relate to math, as well as some that do not for your iReady third grade unit one, lessons four, five, and six. These lessons mainly focus on division, but you'll use some of your multiplication skills as well. First word, division, is an operation used to separate the number of items into equal size groups. You'll see I even labeled division sign, which is two dots with a line in the middle. So four divided by two equals two. I made four stars and I broke them into two equal groups of two each. To divide means to separate into equal groups and find the number in each group or the number of groups. So again, same division problem. And I have two equal groups of two. Equal size groups, same number of items in a group. I feel like I've said it three times now. So we have again, four stars broken into two groups. They're equal groups of two. Now, just like in multiplication and addition and in equation, the numbers are named. So the number that is divided by another number is called the dividend. The dividend in this case for eight divided by two equals four is eight. For right now, it's usually going to be the largest number. Divisor is the number by which another number is divided. In the same problem, the divisor here is two. We wanna make two equal groups out of the eight. Quotient is the result of division. It's a fancy word for answer. So in eight divided by two, I wanna make two equal groups of eight. I'm gonna have four items in each group. Four is the quotient. Bagels, not a math word, but it pops up in these lessons. It's a bread roll in the shape of a ring, and some people put cream cheese, butter, and other spreads on them. To solve, remember that just means to find an answer. They do use this throughout, and in certain situations, it's used a little bit differently. So just remember when it says that you're just solving. Fact families, we've seen them in addition, subtraction. We are now we're seeing them in multiplication and division. Remember, there are three numbers that are interchanged, and you can make different problems but they're we're only using those three numbers. They are the fact family. Some people call them number bonds. Pattern, a series of numbers or shapes that follow a rule to repeat. Patterns are gonna come up. So you wanna make sure that you see the pattern and you understand the pattern and can tell what comes next. A rule, your teacher might tell you to follow the rule when you're solving problems. Make sure you follow the rules of the numbers because if you don't, you'll get the wrong answer. Even and odd numbers are gonna pop up. Here is a chart for one to 100 of even and odd. Remember that even numbers can be put into pairs or into two equal groups without any leftovers. And they always end in zero, two, four, six, eight. Odd numbers cannot be put into pairs or into two equal groups without a leftover. So an odd number will always have one, three, five, seven, nine in the ones place. There is a spelling mistake that I see. It should say without a leftover. So just remember odd numbers always will have a partner that is hanging out with nobody to dance with. A grid, lines that are equally spaced that go across and up and down. And a diagonal line that goes from one corner to another. These are words that will also pop up in these lessons. Shaded part comes up during fractions too. And in division, we start to think about those things. That's an area that's colored darker than the rest. Packages is not a math word, but that comes up in some of the math problems. Remember, those are just boxes that contain items. Thank you for watching, and I hope that some of these vocabulary words will help you throughout these lessons. You can always come back and re-watch this.